Hello everyone, this is Ulam and you are watching the Cypress Automation YouTube channel. If you are new here, please subscribe my YouTube channel. The agenda of this tutorial is to uploading files made easy with the dot select file command. The second one is the selecting files in the HTML5 input element. The third one is dragging files into the browser. The fourth one is the dragging files into the browser. And the last one is the migrating from the Cypress upload file upload plugin so this is my dummy website where i just want to upload that particular file so just go there and let's see what is the functionality here which we just want to cover for example this is our uh, choose file button here and we just need to click um, uh, by clicking that button we can select any file like this one and then you can select any file and you can then upload that file so this is the basic functionality which we will just cover in that tutorial so how you can do that just go here and you can see that we are visiting that website here and let's see okay okay so first of all we just need to get the locator of that particular button which is used for the To select a file so just click on that copy and paste it here you can see that now we can use the dot select file method here after that selector select file here and you can mention the name of that file for example, I just want to upload a file here. Uh, that is a file which I just want to upload, or I just want to upload example.json or one fixture.json. So just now, for now, I will just upload a agenda.x file here. So I just need to copy the relative path of that file here and paste it here. So now you just you will see that is it working or not? cypress fixture okay so this is the we just need to replace that like this one so now you just you will see that the file is selected there and we now just need to click on that upload button here so what can be the test case here the test case will be the upload or uh, choose any file there and you just need to verify that file also here and then after that clicking that upload button you have also verify that file that is it uploaded or not there okay so this is our drag and drop functionality here which we will cover later also and so far now just needs to click on that upload button here so just get the file submit is the locator of that button and just needs to click on that okay now we will check that is it clicking yeah that is also clicking okay so you can see that the file is uploaded so the next functionality will be the verify that heading that is visible and that will be also show just after file is successfully visible there so you can use it as a assertion there also should be that busy well now you can see that heading 3 is also visible there you can also verify the content of that particular text here so for now we will just covering that file upload functionality so this is our simple uh, file upload functionality here so you can also select a file created dynamically inside of a test using the new cypress.buffer utility so if a file is created dynamically inside of a test then how you will do that so you will do that 
uh, by cypress dot buffer functionality and you will do that like uh, uh, just needs to remove that no uh, we will just do like this and we will use a and control okay so we will do in this select file functionality so how you can do that so you can do that like mm, contents contents cypress dot buffer dot from a uh, file content tense so this is for when a file is created dynamically file name file name uh, currently here we are using the agenda dot text agenda dot text file here and now we will last modified so in this functionality for example it is modified today so what we will do that date dot no so here it is the date dot no functionality here so let's see is it uploaded there or not just go there so you can see that the cypress dot the cypress is not defined it says that issue is on line number seven so this is the capital c not smaller c so just replace and you can see that agenda.x file so also copy the uh, okay so no so it we will also click on that click button and is it uploading successfully or not let's see so in it's taking time okay so i think internet connection is slow there and it is uploaded and also is that there wow that's good okay so now you we will cover how we can drag and drop for the drag and drop what we can do uh, we can do what we can do just needs to Uh, remove that and first of all we will go there and or no just okay so first of all we just visit that website and we will get the locator of that field here there basically that is for the drag and drop so this is our drag and drop field and how we can do that so just needs to replace it drag and drop functionality here will be so what we will do now we will add an action here which is drag and uh, drop sorry drop so this is our action here first of all we also need to add the file name or path here which is under the cypress 
fixtures agenda file agenda dot txt file here so this is my file and i just want to perform drag and drop functionality here so let's see wow that is also uploaded here so next you can also do that uh, we will also uh, okay so this is the drag and drop functionality here and you can even drop a file over the document uh, like by using a cy dot document method there and after that we will we can use the select dot select file and mention the name of that uh, like this one let me do that you can use cy dot document mm. for the select file and uh, mention the name of that file which we are file name here and uh, you can mention the action here uh, which is uh, drag and drop functionality so uh, you can uh, drop a file over the document so you can uh, use that method for that thing and uh, uh, now uh, we will go for the manipulating binary data with the buffer and that is uh, not only the instances of the cypress.buffer accepted by the dot select file to specify files in line but the cy.read file and the cy.fixture commands yield instances of the cypress.buffer when the encoding is set to null uh, the last topic of the, our tutorial is uh, migrating from the cypress file upload plugin Basically, the dot uh, select file uh, command replaces the Cypress file upload community plugin by Paul or Minika. And moving forward, we recommend that you update your test to use the new command. In order to streamline this process, a comprehensive migration guide has been written, which explains the exact steps you need to take and update the existing test to use the dot select file. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And I hope you will like that and uh, you have learned the basic functionality. And uh